everyone, my name is Tiffany Chu and the title of my presentation today is Follow That Car, How to Become an Industrial Leader. Now on to my introduction. As two immensely wealthy business magnates, Henry Ford and Elon Musk have both played a role as a richest man on earth at some point in their lives. In the left picture, you can see Elon Musk with his Tesla Roadster and on the right is Henry Ford with his Model T. In a research-based historical analysis of both primary and secondary documents regarding the lives and tactics of Henry Ford and Elon Musk, several parallel factors that influence such prosperity and success within the automobile industry can be identified. Regarding key terms, the Industrial Revolution is a historical period that occurred in America during the 19th century, characterized by the shift from an agricultural-based economy to one that emphasized industrialization, mechanization, and factory work. The moving assembly line is a manufacturing system introduced by Henry Ford, which boosted productivity by dividing assembly operations into smaller fixed tasks for workers on a conveyor belt. On the right is a GIF of part of Ford's moving assembly line. Vertical integration is a strategy where a company owns all or part of its supply chain in order to gain fuller control over the whole production process. And lastly, the information age is a historical period occurring from the mid-20th century until now, characterized by a shift from an industrial-based economy to one based on information technology. For this research project, my thesis was, Henry Ford and Elon Musk can credit their extreme success to personal factors, such as growing up in innovation-driven environments and preferring real-world experience over school, and to the entrepreneurial techniques of vertical integration and customer satisfaction. In addition, each industrial captain distinguished themselves from others by introducing groundbreaking technology to make their products unique, as Ford stressed extreme affordability with his moving assembly line, while Musk focused on high performance and the value of his products. On the top, you can see a picture of Henry Ford, and on the bottom is a picture of Elon Musk. The first personal factor that Ford and Musk shared was that they, was that they both grew up and lived during innovation-driven time periods. Henry Ford, born in 1863, grew up during the end of the Industrial Revolution. This influenced his passion for mechanization, landing, his future landing him a future job with the Edison Illuminating Company. When Ford and Edison met in New York, Edison's favorable response to a gasoline-powered engine had a very deep and lasting impact on Ford. When Ford got Edison's approval, he gained the confidence to bring his entrepreneurial ideas to life. Edison would later become his close friend and mentor, providing him with the connections and valuable advice necessary for his prosperous company. On the right is a picture of Henry Ford on the left and Thomas Edison on the right. Similarly, Elon Musk was born in 1971, during the Information Age, or also known as the Digital or Computer Age. He purchased, he purchased his first computer at the age of 10 and trained himself how to code it. He marketed his first computer algorithm software program, the Blaster Space Program, for around $500 when he was a 12-year-old kid. On the left, you can see a picture of the Blaster Space Program and young Elon Musk with his computer. Being able to own a computer while growing up influenced Musk's early obsession with technology and allowed him to practice entrepreneurial techniques while young. This likely influenced his future role as founder of multiple companies. Ford and Musk were both influenced by the technological advancement and entrepreneur-influenced environments of their times, which would later influence their future roles as business owners. Another personal factor they shared were their thoughts on education. Henry Ford's philosophy about education was, we believe that first of all a man should be able to earn his own living and that any education which does not fit him is useless. He advocated for more of a vocational education over traditional education, as he believed this would better prepare children to enter their future careers and to be able to start making an income. On the bottom left is a picture of young Henry Ford. Meanwhile, Elon Musk described college as a bunch of annoying homework assignments. I think colleges are basically for fun and to prove you can do your chores, but they're not for learning. He viewed college as more of a side source of information, believing that one should invest their time into learning practical skills and gaining real-world experience instead. On the bottom right are two pictures of Elon Musk during his college days. It is important to note that both Ford and Musk chose to withdraw early from school and college. However, the reason for this was because their academic environments were not stimulating enough for them, and it was not due to their bad grades. This is interesting because, according to the office, U.S. Office of Education, it is estimated that 25-30% to 30 of school dropouts are gifted and talented students. The reason they leave is often because they felt that the classroom is too constrained for them to express their creativity or intelligence. This has been the case for many geniuses, such as Albert Einstein, and based on the research provided, Ford and Musk seem to fit into this pattern. They also share entrepreneurial te te techniques, such as vertical integration. Henry Ford implemented vertical integration by manufacturing all of the Model T's components in-house instead of purchasing from separate suppliers. 
After doing this, the price of raw materials and manufactured components bought elsewhere dropped by half, from $590 to $262 per car. As seen by these statistics, Ford was able to halve the production price of his products, so vertical integration was very successful for him. Elon Musk implemented vertical integration through his Tesla Gigafactories, which produced their lithium batteries. After building his Gigafactories, Bloomberg reported that lithium-ion battery packs for electric vehicles cost about $496 per kilowatt hour, down 60% from 2010. Battery co cost could drop to $175 per kilowatt hour by 2020. This drop in price for production would be the result of the use of Gigafactories. Using vertical integration, both Ford and Musk could increase efficiency in their production plants by gaining fuller control over the whole manufacturing process. They could also produce their own parts at a reduced price, allowing, to, allowing them to sell their automobiles at more affordable price ranges. On the bottom left is the inside of Ford's factory, while in the center is a Tesla Gigafactory, and on the right is a picture of the inside of a Tesla Gigafactory. Another entrepreneurial tactic that they shared was a focus on customer satisfaction. Henry Ford placed such an emphasis on buyer affordability over company profit that during one year, the Ford profit was so much larger than they expected that they voluntarily returned $50 to each purchaser of a car. In addition, he also funded his own hospital, as seen in the picture on the left, and trade school. Since Ford presented himself as a reliable and caring business owner, his customers trusted him to think in their best interests, creating loyal Ford companies customers. Meanwhile, Elon Musk used company-owned Tesla showrooms instead of the traditional car dealership. In these showrooms, there was better service and customers had personalized experiences with their Tesla experts and no longer had to deal with annoying car sales associates. Musk wanted his, wanted his showrooms to basically act as an exclusive club for Tesla members to come at any time for repairs or other concerns. By using these showrooms, he puts a focus on the customer during the Tesla purchasing process, which leads to higher cons cu customer satisfaction rates. According to a survey conducted by Consumer Reports, Tesla was ranked first in automobile customer satisfaction in 2019, scoring 89 out of 100 points on owner satisfaction ratings. This shows that good customer service and providing an easy experience with purchasing and repair processes for your customers leads to loyal consumer bases. Moving on, Henry Ford stood out from other automobile producers of his time through the intro introduction of his moving assembly line. After implementing his line, the time for assembly for each piece dropped from 20 minutes to 13 minutes and 10 seconds. Within a year, the number of workers assembling flywheel magnetos on the line dropped from 29 to 14, and the time of assembly dropped to 5 minutes. By November, the complete engine assembly was put online, cutting assembly time by 60%. Based on these statistics, it is clear that the moving assembly line increased efficiency. It also increased productivity and affordability. The moving assembly line was first implemented in 1913, and from 1913 to 1914, there was a $60 price decrease in the Model T, and 59,906 more vehicles were created. From 1913 to 1916, there was a $130 price decrease in the, in the Model T, and 537,125 more Ford cars were manufactured. Meanwhile, Musk was able to distinguish his Teslas as unique from other car companies through the value and performance of them. Using the Tesla Model S as an example, its high technology can be seen through the 17-inch touchscreen that controls all auto functions and even has software updates similar to an iPhone. It can, this can be seen in the picture on the bottom left. It also has high performance as it can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in less than 3 seconds. However, Many other luxury and electric car manufacturers may have similar features, so what really sets Tesla apart is its value. It's relatively affordable for a luxury car with such high performance and technology. Using a price comparison of similar performance cars, the Tesla Model S cost $72,990, $72,990, while the Mercedes-Benz S-Class S50 cost $104,450, which is significantly more. However, you can see that the acceleration rate for the Tesla Model S is 3.1 seconds, which is much faster than the S-Class S50, which is 4.6 seconds. Although Henry Ford and Elon Musk are two extremely successful businessmen whose techniques rising entrepreneurs should observe, they may not be the best role models to follow in terms of personal morals. Henry Ford was well known for his extreme anti-Semitism. In his papers called the Dearborn Independent, he criticized and blamed Jews for a multitude of issues, such as economic and banking issues. His writings greatly inspired Adolf Hitler, and he was even accused for assisting the Nazis. 
This obviously greatly tainted his reputation and made many people question his role as a philanthropist. In addition, Ford's automobile engines ran on gas, which emit carbon monoxide and nitrogen oxides, among many other gases. This directly contributes mass amounts to the greenhouse gas effect. His Model T ended up inspiring many future models of automobiles, which also use gas-powered engines, and to this modern day, automobile exhaust fumes are, are one of the leading factors for global warming. Elon Musk is criticized for his far-fetched and conspiratorial ideas. With SpaceX, his goal is to revolutionize space transportation in order to allow for the colonization of Mars, and with Neuralink, he's trying to develop a chip that will connect the human brain to the digital world. He's also known for his unethical treatment of employees, as he often fires employees on the spot when he gets frustrated and is known for calling them idiot and other derogatory terms. He's also known for his short temper, as he often cusses people out and ignores people that criticize him and gets unnecessarily frustrated and makes rude remarks during conference calls. In conclusion, Ford and Musk have both left a huge impact on America. As two of the largest automobile producers, they have created thousands of jobs for workers in their automobile factories. In addition, the presence of automobiles on roads allows for roadside businesses such as gas stations to survive. They are also symbols of America as a reigning world power, demonstrating that we're advanced and up-to-date with innovative technology. Lastly, they introduced more efficient transportation and increased mobility, allowing for the ability to travel across the country independently. Ultimately, Henry Ford's largest contribution to society was his moving assembly line, which revolutionized mass production in every industry. He also introduced the first universal car model. Elon Musk's greatest contribution to society was the introduction of sustainability through the use of lithium batteries in replacement of gas-powered engines. In addition, the creation of the Tesla introduced many new electric-powered car parts and highly advanced technological software. Henry Ford and Elon Musk are important to the modern world because as more and more new businesses enter the industrial world, entrepreneurs must expand their creativity to make their products stand out to consumers and distinguish their brand from competition in order to truly become successful. As Henry Ford and Elon Musk are two exceptional industrial captains that were able to build up reputable brands and create top-selling cars in America, their lives and tactics can be observed to find specific factors that led them to such immense wealth and success. Thank you for listening to my presentation.